Hi there. Well, now I want to talk to you about two different things. Are you a teacher or are you a coach? Now, there's a big difference between the two. It's possible you could be both. I certainly am. So let me explain. A lot of people say that they're a martial arts instructor and a few people call themselves things like a boxing coach or an MMA coach or you hear MMA fighters talk about how they're training with their jiu-jitsu coach, their boxing coach, their kickboxing coach, their tie boxing coach, their wrestling coach, etc, etc. More often than not, I should be saying instructor or teacher, not coach. And I'll explain the difference between the two. A teacher is going to teach you how to do something or teach you uh, something. So for example it may be that um, a mathematics teacher will teach you an equation. It's up to you to then go and use it and see how to apply it and everything else. Whereas a coach will take that equation show you how to apply it, where to apply it, when to apply it, help you along the path of understanding that equation all the way through, and monitor you, monitor your progress and help and advise all the way through the process. A teacher doesn't necessarily or probably won't ever be doing that for you. So when it comes to learning your martial arts learning your self-defense or learning your sports combat fighting you need to make sure that you understand as either the recipient of or the one doing the difference between teaching instructing and coaching because to be a coach is a full-time job it's hard work the coach will be studying and working alongside that fighter or that student you know, full time. We've all seen the age old clips of the, the boxer running, running along in the early hours of the morning and the coach behind him on a bicycle shouting out instructions. That's coaching. The teachers and the instructors will be saying to them, go and do your run in the morning mate. Make sure you do your three, four, five miles, whatever. And that's it. The coach will be hammering on his door, making sure he's up, making sure he's had what he needs to have in terms of drink or food or whatever preparation is required. Go for the run, follow him on the run, make sure that's done correctly. Come back, make sure the warm down is correct, make sure that any massages that are needed are needed, make sure that any food intake or anything else that's needed is done, any rest that's needed is done, and monitor that absolutely fully. So there's a huge difference between teaching, instructing, and coaching. So when we talk about within our organization, that somebody is a qualified coach that really means something now an instructor or a teacher is great nothing wrong with that it's a very high level to achieve in anything but to be a true coach is another level of gain you know when people are learning from me it may well be that I'm teaching. When it's done by a DVD or an online course or something like that, or a seminar maybe, it's teaching, it's instructing. Because you can't take the individual time to nurture somebody throughout the whole day. There's simply too many people to do it. So it's exactly the same in any martial arts school anywhere in the world. You're teaching, you're not a coach. And when people come to train with me personally, whether it be for a day, a week, a month, whatever it may be, or long term, then it becomes coaching in the truest sense of the word. 
where everything's monitored from the very beginning right the way through to the end. Even, you know, you, you see things and you hear things like, um, even pro fighters will say things like, oh, coach just told me to go and do six rounds on the heavy back. So they off, go off and do that. But is the coach watching them while they're doing their six rounds on the heavy back? Is he monitoring what they're doing to make sure it's correct? Is he pointing out things that they should and shouldn't be doing? Is he making minor adjustments here and there? Is he keeping an eye on the pace, the timing, the footwork, everything else that you need to be making sure of? Or is it a case of you go and do your six rounds on the back, you go do some skipping, you go for your run, you go in there, uh, you like to do a bit of sparring, uh, do some drills, uh, you hit the other bag, uh, you do some floor exercises, and so on and so forth. That's not coaching. Now you've got to decide in your own mind if you're an instructor, coach, teacher, whatever, or you're somebody who's just looking to increase their skills, you're a student, whether you want to be taught something or whether you want to be coached something. Now some people can get by just with being taught. You know, some people can literally just look at something and go, yeah, I've got that, and they'll go and drill it themselves. And they understand their own body and movement enough to be able to learn it very quickly. Certainly I've got friends of mine who, who, who are fortunate enough to be able to do that. And in some areas, I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. But some people really need coaching. They really need looking after. Some people only need teaching. Anyway, it's giving, hope that's given you some food for thought, as they say. And, you know, let me know what you think. Keep the questions coming, and I'll keep answering. Thanks a lot.